vamos a comenzar ahora con unas palabras de bienvenida que nos va a dirigir John Turner. Welcome, John. Thank you very much for your support. You are always at our disposal for our meetings, and we are very grateful for that. You can start whenever you want. Thank you so much, Jose, and good morning, everybody. I do apologize uh, for the stupid Australian once again addressing you in English, uh, but I hope you will bear with me for a few minutes and some opening remarks. Uh, Harvey, I wonder whether you could share my pretty simple slide deck uh, and uh, we, we can get going. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to start to... to uh, sure, sure. To show it. Perfect, thank you very much. And to the next slide, please. So um, once again, thank you very much everybody for uh, your time this morning. And I do wish all of my friends and colleagues there in Spain uh, an excellent meeting today. Um, we, we are coming to the end of 2020. It is in sight, and I'm sure that you will join with me in thinking that's a very good thing. Uh, this has been uh, a, a most unfortunate year. Our, our, uh, we will see, we'll be happy to see the back of 2020. This pandemic has wreaked extraordinary damage on, on lives, on economies, on happiness and, and health. Uh, and it's also brought many other things to the fore. Uh, it's created, uh, or our, our digital environment has created digital doubts. So a combination of social media and ubiquitous online sources means that perhaps caution ruled where only Swiss, swift and decisive action could have helped um, but at the same time, especially for those of us uh, here in the West, lockdown actions call into question our, all of our deeply held assumptions about our rights uh, to travel, to meet people, uh, to explore the world. Um, and we've also seen some digital side effects. 2020 has highlighted the dark side of 21st century ubiquitous data platforms, which have got self-reinforcing social bubbles that are more or less perfect propaganda tools. And they've been used in ways that um, by everybody from by, by advertisers, by news interests, by lobby groups, um, and even to political parties and nation states in ways that are really being very damaging to our global community. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time this year, perhaps we've learned to support our neighbors, to look out for our elderly, to appreciate our communities. We've learned to work uh, uh, in a way and in, with digital collaboration where time zones and distances have little relevance um, and we've learned to work in a manner that many would have thought impossible. We've all been astonished at the speed of the advances in health science that have already made COVID less deadly and now brings a host of vaccines that can perhaps heal many of our hurts. Um, and we've, I think we've adapted faster and farther than anyone could have imagined in a digital world. Look at us, look at it, all of us here today. In the XBRL community, we've seen really significant innovation in our specifications, easily understood syntax for JSON, really simple and really granular CSV format. The open information model is designed to keep our standard and our community hugely relevant to reporting for a long time to come. We should all be thinking in terms of XBRL as a standard, not as a technology. Um, and in Europe, we've seen really just extraordinary advances in combining corporate reporting with digital clarity. The new generation of inline XBRL tools combine design and data in ways that only two years ago was just the most modest of prototypes. And now what people are doing is truly extraordinary and will take uh, reporting a long way further. We've seen exceptional collaboration across the public and private sectors and XBRL data has, play, has been playing its way, uh, or playing its part rather, in keeping businesses going through the pandemic via government support that can be tar targeted thanks to high quality, reliable and digital reports. We've also in Europe seen some confusion and some complexity in the implementation of ESEF. 
And we all know that change within a highly regulated market facing environment is very difficult. So the option for delay is perhaps not a bad thing for some countries when looked at from a distance, especially given COVID. Um, but all in all, we're all gonna be happy to see the back of 2020. Next slide, slide please, Harvey. 2021 is arriving um, and we should all look forward to 2021 not least because it isn't 2020. Uh, we should look forward to a science-led recovery thanks to effective and well-tested vaccines. We should look forward to the international community coming back together and perhaps starting to cut through some of, more, some of the more ridiculous ideas that have been spread through those digital bubbles. We should look forward to smarter digital policy that emphasizes information, interoperability and data standards rather than walled gardens and proprietary platforms. And we should look forward to an international community that tackles with real intention and with consistency the much larger catastrophe that we now understand it all too well. And climate change can only be overcome by every country and every person in every country doing their part, big or small. Within the XBRL community, in Europe, we should look forward to a new era of digital corporate reporting supported and expanded by this community. The XBRL community should continue to emphasize collaboration, to emphasize innovation and international cooperation. Um, and my thanks to all of you, our friends and our colleagues in Spain for the work that you do in helping improve reporting, improve transparency, improve resilience and improve accountability. Um, and in that spirit, I hope you'll join me in saying good riddance to 2020 and welcome to 2021. And to all of you, I'm hoping and uh, in praying that you will all stay safe and well over the holiday period. And I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and very much look, looking forward to seeing you digitally and I'm sure in person in 2021. Thank you very much for your time. And I wish you all a very successful meeting today. Thank you very much, John, for your words.